friends, my name is Alex Karekis, and I want to welcome you to my Finding Lost Civilization series. This series is about taking a journey into our past and finding ancient sites that time has long forgotten. Today we're in Robinson Canyon, which is off of Carmel Valley in Monterey County, California. And in this canyon, off in the distance, I saw a cave. And now, I'm on a trail which seems to be going towards that cave. So come, follow me as I trek through Robinson Canyon. Well, this is the trail that I'm following. Not much to see, except if you look up over here, you can see where the grass is growing here, and then here, but over here, there's a small, thin path. The only thing I see are animal tracks. And hopefully, this is not leading me to the mountain lion's lair. My treks as we journey to find ancient civilization and visit our past are solitary. The only person that knows where I've gone is you, who is watching. So as I'm in the wilderness, I have to always be aware of my surroundings. You know, the ancients that lived had to always be aware of other predators around them. And here in Robinson Canyon, it was no different. As I was trekking the hills over here, I saw a cave, and I knew that the ancient Rumson Indians lived in these habitation caves in this area. So I found a trail, which was well-worn, and I thought to myself, well, <laughs> this must be an old ancient path that is still somewhat discernible. So I followed this path to this cave, and I'll tell you what, what I found surprised me. And it's a good example of why someone must always be prepared and alert when they are trekking alone in a wilderness. Let me show you what I found. Well, as I looked into this cave, I immediately saw a large bone and recognized it as the bone or the foot of one of the many deers that roam this area. Look at that. There is the remnants of a feast that a mountain lion had. Friends, I was following a game trail, leaving the mountain lion den when I saw this in front of me. Before us, we have this mountain lion print. Look at the size of this print. You can see actually where my fingers are. This is where the claws of the front paws of the mountain lion were. This is one heck of a big mountain lion. Now this here is a little worn away because it's rained. But I tell you, this mountain lion is way over 100 pounds. It's a big guy and we certainly don't want to meet it during our treks. Well friends, I've been following this game trail directly to our front. And what it has done is had led me to the small little arroyo filled with water and large rocks that almost look like the end of a canyon that may have very well contained habitation shelters used by the ancients. The reason that this place is so wonderful <laughs> is that it is a source of fresh water which is needed to sustain life. Also, this area is completely covered with oak trees. An acorn was one of the Rumson Indians' main staple. So, you can imagine why they lived here. Friends, here is the stream that the game trail took me to. And directly ahead of us is the cave that I saw. I'm a little bit apprehensive after having found the mountain lion cave. 
So I will go slowly and with a bit of trepidation <laughs> and my antennas up. But you will see exactly what I see as we enter that cave. We're going on this trek together. If you see a mountain lion before I do, scream, yell, let me know. But look at this place. This is incredible. Look at this. There's no doubt in my mind that the ancients who inhabited this area once lived here. This is a perfect place to have your home. This is an acorn forest with fresh water and shelter, temporary shelter, if that's what you needed. My goodness. So, let us go slowly. As I said, if you see anything, yell. Let me know. Be my eyes and my ears. Look at this over here. I'm gonna approach slowly. There's no doubt that that is. I can see prints in there, an animal shelter. Oh boy, I'll tell you. Look at this, can you imagine in a rainy season, the water running down through here? This is incredible. So, let's continue our journey. If the camera shakes, you know it's me. As I said, these treks are solitary. The only person on this journey is me and you. <laughs> oh my goodness, I think I see some feathers, a meal. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go up this stone here. Let me jump. Oh, here we go, all right. So I'm gonna approach slowly, gingerly, <laughs> keeping an eye out, just like a warrior would, to make sure he would not be ambushed from above or from his rear. Well, here you have it. This is the cave right here. This is the habitation shelter. And yes, I see footprints. They're old and they're not new. So that's a good sign. But let me come closer and let us both take a look at what exists over here. Yes, you can see, you can see that the ground's been disturbed. Let me show you. Look at this. You can see that the ground is disturbed. All kinds of footprints. But luckily for us, there's no mountain lion here today. So let's continue our search in this area to see if we can find signs of ancient life. This is the view from this spot. Look at that. Isn't this majestic? So we're going to continue searching this area to see what we can find. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is wonderful. Well friends, what I'm looking for is a symbol. Some sign that the ancients were here. Maybe a painted handprint along these ledges or along this wall. This place is fantastic. One of the things is that these boulders here are sandstone. So they're very fragile, very fragile to the elements. Well friends, what we're going to do is we're going to inspect this ledge. I can see that there's many animal prints here. So let's take a closer look to see what our journey can reveal to us. Okay, again over here, closer to the wall, I can see many small footprints. So we know that animals definitely visit this place. And you can see by the soil over here, that as time goes along, it washes its way down into the stream. So I'm 
looking at the ceiling over here to see if there are any ancient signs okay left by the Rumson Indians of this area friends let me share with you something interesting that I just noticed as I mentioned before all this earth before us is on a slope it's on a slant and it slides down into the stream below us so as I was looking at this earth trying to find footprints I noticed something very interesting I saw this piece of cracked earth right here you can see it right here and I noticed this item sticking out over here so it washed down from up there and got caught here in this little fissure and eventually it would tumble down into the stream but the interesting thing that I noticed about this item is look how sharp the edge is <laughs> this is unusual this is a stone and this is mostly dirt in front of us and so I took a real close look at the item as I examined it I noticed that it was shaped this is what's called napping this is how a stone is shaped you can see right over here at the edges that it's been flaked off and one of the things that I noticed that the edge right here was very sharp so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of that fissure and we're going to examine it together well here I go let me let me pull it out here it's been here a while and let's examine it together my goodness look at the edge on there this is very very sharp and I can tell it's been shaped this my friends is a stone age tool look at this I'm just feeling it around okay look at this this has been shaped to form <laughs> a natural kitchen tool look at this look how sharp it is and if you look closely you can see that the edge has been shipped so this tool this stone age tool is called a scraper look at this this is how it's held it fits the hand perfectly items would be cut this way or a deer skin or a cougar skin <laughs> would be scraped away this way that's why these are called scrapers this is also a cutting tool this is incredible so we know <laughs> that this ancient tool lies here in this overhang so ancient man did in fact live here or at least visit this area as I said this is a Stone Age tool this tool is hundreds upon hundreds of years old and possibly thousands of years old similar scrapers like this have been found in North Africa and these scrapers are hundreds of thousands of years old my goodness what a fantastic discovery friends I want to mention that our treks are about gathering knowledge it's about learning it's not about hunting for artifacts or arrowheads or buried treasure although one day <laughs> I sure would like to find a buried treasure so things like the scraper that we found in a cave we leave those behind so that those who come later on maybe future generations can experience the same joy that we have today friends before we leave this cave area let me share one more thing that I found with you you know I always find the juxtaposition of the modern and the past very interesting and certainly when we found that Stone Age tool I felt like I was the only person that had been to that cave in the last several hundred years <laughs> well a hundred feet away from the cave as I was following the stream that led down from the hillside this is what I found a bottle a plastic bottle of chocolate milk just goes to show you you know you think you might be the only person maybe lost in time in a place like Robinson Canyon and in fact this area has been used by man for 10,000 years throughout the millenniums right up until today where that plastic bottle of chocolate milk was dropped 
Well, even finding that was interesting. Hey.